to protect him from an ever more ferocious assault. First gas, now guns, firing live ammunition outside the house of the legitimate prime minister of the country. They say they want to take him to prison to face up to 80 charges, up to and including the allegation of murder. I have been in this play before. I've seen this playbook before. If Imran Khan is taken from Zaman Park and placed behind bars, you will never see his face again. Because if you think about it, how could they allow you to? A man so popular that they cannot possibly face him in a parliamentary election. Not just because he would beat them, but because he would so sweep the boards. He could put every single one of them on trial for sedition. He could change the constitution of a ramshackle republic that bitterly, deeply, profoundly needs changing. They cannot allow Imran Khan to live. And so if he is snatched by those body snatchers outside his home right now, as sure as eggs is eggs, he will be murdered because the usurpers can do nothing else. In Shakespeare's words, they are steeped in blood so far. Is it bloodier to go on or to go out? And so I say to his former brother-in-law, Lord Goldsmith, in the British Foreign Office, I say to his former friend, Boris Johnson, the erstwhile Prime Minister of Britain, I say to the Chancellor of Oxford University, whose distinguished alumni he is, I say to the entire foreign policy establishment in London and in Washington, you better save the life of Imran Khan, not just because this noble and brave man deserves to be saved, but because Pakistan will become completely uncontrollable if Imran Khan is murdered by the crime gang, the crime bosses that you have placed in power in his stead. 300 millions of the Pakistanis and tens, scores of millions of Pakistanis around the world will be uncontrollable if their leader is Mabdoh.